All right, Larry Kruger here from the Pig in a Pickle Crew Show. A little on the road video on the Niners uh, the day after the Niners lose to the Ravens. All right, Kyle Shanahan spoke today to the media. He said a number of things. Let's go through some of the things. And of course, we're brought to you by Pig in a Pickle, two locations Emeryville and Corte Madera. Uh, they're open seven days a week in both spots from 11 a.m. till 8 p.m. or until they run out. Pig in a pickle, the best barbecue in all of Northern California. Get the brisket, get the brisket chili. Go say hi to Damon and Mary. Tell them that Krug sent you. And we're also, this video is brought to you by Underdog Fantasy. Check the link in the description. Use that promo code Krug and they will match you up to your first $100. All right, let's talk a little bit about Kyle Shanahan. He talked first about the injuries today uh, with a little morning presser with the uh, press corps. Said a number of things. One of the probably the most key was that Elijah Mitchell will be a full go this week at practice. So that's good to hear that Mitchell's making his way back. He also mentioned that Brandon Ayuk will be looked at as a uh, punt returner. Uh, they'll consider Juice and CMC as well. Um, you know, I don't want to say they're totally not satisfied with Ronnie Bell, but he's got to hold on to the ball, and it's as simple as that. And they've got other options. Ayuk was a star punt returner at ASU. Uh, Hughes Check can do it. He's very sure-handed. McCaffrey can do it as well. So they've got options there, and it looks like they're going to explore all their options as far as the punt returner position. Um, he also talked a little bit about, you know, and they missed Juwan Jennings in this last game just because of the physical nature of the game and how physical Juwan is. Juwan is, you know, they really missed him as a blocker downfield and, and he's just a tremendous, you know, big time player who, you know, makes difficult contested catches and holds on. Um, so they definitely said he, you know, Kyle said he missed Juwan Jennings. One of the things that, that clearly is is becoming a trend is that the Niners like what they've seen in Darrell Luter, the rookie corner out of South Alabama, who played a lot of press man coverage out South Alabama. He said he looked what well, he looked good in the snaps that he did get at corner, and uh, it sounds like Luter's going to get more snaps in the weeks ahead. Um, he was asked a couple questions today about Jason Verrett. Now Verrett did play five snaps all at the, in the slot cornerback position, and he did give up a touchdown. Um, and he just basically said, hey, look, we chose to dress uh, JV, Jason Verrett, over Samuel Womack. And, um, you know, the Niners have quality depth at the corner. Um, Verrett's the veteran. They like to work him in, uh, but they also like Womack. They like Luter. They like some of their – their depth pieces at corner, and it sounds like all of them are going to get looks. But in this particular game, after the way he'd been practicing really good practices, they wanted to get Verrett on the field, and sure enough, he got five snaps at slot corner. He did give up the touchdown, and one of the media people mentioned that he looked unhappy on the sidelines. Well, guess what? If you play five snaps and you give up a touchdown, you're going to be unhappy. I mean, it's just kind of the name of the nature of the be of the beast. I mean, that's just the way it is. Um he was asked about Brock Purdy, and he said, hey, you know, Brock made one really bad decision on the interception, on the first interception by Kyle Hamilton. He just said, you know, he's got to read the coverage better. And, he's, you know, he was asked, hey, did you see what he saw? And he's like, yeah, he, was, he saw some room there, and he was probably feeling good because of the way the game started. Um, but you know, he's got to read that coverage better and he's got to know that Hamilton's lurking right there. And sure enough, that was the first interception. Um, Kyle said that that's really the one, that was the one mistake that Purdy made was that first interception. The second one was a ball that, you know, was a great play, uh, by, it was it Stevenson, the corner who batted it in the air and then Humphrey came away with the pick. And then of course the third one, there were penalties and, the fourth one was he got his arm knocked and the ball just came out at a bad trajectory. And all four, unfortunately, resulted in interceptions for the 49ers, and that's how it goes sometimes. But he said the first one was the bad one, and the first one was the mistake. Um, he was asked about, hey, you know, you watch the film, and, you know, do you have any real wisdom on why your team lost? And, you know, Kyle didn't have anything really new to share on that front. He just basically said, hey, look, you know, we had five turnovers, and we had over 100-plus yards in, in penalties. And those two things will get you beat every time. 
you know, and that's exactly what happened. Five turnovers, 100 plus yards and penalties, and the Niners lost. Um, simple as that. And then um, he basically also was asked about the practice schedule for the week. And he just said that, you know, that really just for the rest of the year, he's going to try to take it easy on the players. Um, and maybe every Wednesday's practice will be a walkthrough. Tomorrow's practice on Wednesday is going to be, you know, push back a little bit to let the guys rest a little bit more on the short week. Uh, of course, they're going to be getting ready to jump on the bird and go to go to Maryland to take on the, the, the commanders. But he, Kyle seemed to think that in the best interest of keeping his football team fresh, that he'll probably go with a walkthrough on that Wednesday practice the rest of the year. So no incredible revelations, no, hey, you know, this happened, that happened. Um, you know, this call was bad. I really wish we could have taken that back. Um, you know, this was the the real reason. I mean, a lot of the same, a lot of the same reasons that he threw out to us after the game, uh, he had again today after watching the game with his coaches a second time, which is, hey, you know what? Guess what? If you have five turnovers, you're not going to win. And if you have five turnovers and a hundred plus yards in penalties, you're really not going to win. So, you know, that was pretty much it. As far as this game, I mean, you can analyze it a lot of different ways. Um, I thought they personally should have run the ball a little bit more out of two backs when you looked at those numbers and you saw how the Ravens really struggled this year and have struggled this year defending the run uh, from teams that put a fullback on the field. And I would have liked to have seen more running out of two backs because I felt like, especially when you look at that first half where the Niners – Average over seven yards per carry that that run game option was definitely there for them. And, you know, they, they got a little pass happy. Now, uh, Shanahan didn't talk at all about that. He just looked at, Hey, look, we had five turnovers. You know, they, the Niners really had 11 total possessions in the game. So it wasn't like they had, you know, 13, 14, 15 possessions. Every game's a little bit different. In this game, there were 11 total possessions, and the Niners had five turnovers in those 11 possessions. And then you mix in the sloppy play and 100-plus yards of of uh, penalties, and that's how you get beat. It's as simple as that. And, you know, uh, definitely the media kind of pressed him on, hey, you know, what, what, you know, why did you guys get beat? And, what did you learn after you watched the film again? And he basically just came out and said, hey, look, you know what? What I learned is we had five turnovers and 100 plus yards and penalties. And if you do that, you get beat. So there you go. There's your update. Thanks to Pig and a Pickle for being the title sponsor of the Krug Show. Thanks to Underdog Fantasy for sponsoring this video. Thanks to all you guys for supporting the Krug Show on YouTube.